Could you go into a little bit about the benefits of this product, the, why it's different than traditional disinfectants? Well, uh, this, uh, number one, it's a Category 4 product, which means it's extremely safe to use. Uh, number two, it's extremely efficacious against many of the uh, pathogens that we're hearing in the news every day. Uh, for example, the resistant strains of bacteria or staph, MRSA and VRE, uh, complete elimination in two minutes or less. Uh, in addition to that, a 24-hour residual kill. So you can spray this on a tabletop, for example, and up to 24 hours receive a complete kill with bacteria coming in contact with that table. Now, with regard to the uh, swine flu, uh, as you know, H1N1 is not out for testing yet, but the CDC and the EPA have determined that a disinfectant that kills influenza A uh, shouldn't have any problem with H1N1. Now, in addition to the influenza A, we also kill avian influenza, which is the second component of the swine flu. You know, I also noticed that there's a 30-second kill time for standard bacteria, and I'm just thinking about how most people seem to disinfect a surface. Reading that label, it says that it needs to stay wet for 10 minutes, so I guess in essence, if it dries before that, it's really not killing the bacteria? Uh, well, generally that's true, and that's why we feel a 30-second kill. Uh, you really have a good chance of actually achieving the results you desired. So apply the product, wait at least 30 seconds for Staph Pseudomonas and Salmonella, you receive a complete elimination. The, the other thing that I thought was interesting was this product seems to be designed for children or children's toys or cribs. It's that safe? Well, based on the toxicity profile, we went back to the EPA and we had it uh, approved for everything from children's toys to high chairs, daycare and nursery, everything associated with children. You know, 20 years ago, you didn't really see much about this superbug, MRSA, and nowadays you're seeing it so much. In fact, I understand last year there was over 19,000 people that died from MRSA, and I'm seeing it in sports facilities, athletics, wrestling, football, on field turf, in schools. You know, schools are closing. Tell me a little bit about what SpectraSan 24 can do for MRSA. Well, SpectraSan 24 is the ideal product to attack these. Uh, this is a product that's extremely safe to use. You can use this product where you can't use traditional disinfectants. In other words, uh, there's no irritating fumes. It's non-flammable. Uh, it's a very simple product to use. Now, you combine that with the high efficacy of this product, with the 24-hour residual protection against uh, standard indicator organisms like Staph, Pseudomonas, and Salmonella, and now package it with a, in, in a product that's so efficacious against uh, resistant strains of organisms like uh, MRSA and VRE, including the uh, new more virulent uh, P PBL and the CA versions. Uh, this is a perfect product to use in schools to protect our children, uh, particularly in the uh, sports fields. Well, I see that other products kill MRSA too, but it takes 10 minutes, so I would imagine it's probably much easier to keep a product wet for only two minutes. Absolutely, and you'll get a two-minute kill out of this. Well, what about correctional facilities? I read an article about you doing something down in the Tulsa, Tulsa County Correctional Facility. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, there's been an ongoing project in the Tulsa County Jail. Uh, the Tulsa County Jail has approximately 1,500 inmates. Uh, now this is a jail, so it's a revolving door as far as new people coming in and out. Uh, constant state of reinfection. Um, historically, they have experienced 12 to 15 cases of staff on a monthly basis. Since putting our product in place, we've gone out 23 months now without a reported case of staff. We think that's remarkable. I think we're going to make a dramatic impact, uh, particularly with Spectre San 24. Thanks, Mike. I really appreciate the time you spent with me today. You bet, Ken.